Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade recipes to share with your family and friends. Today, we're doing something that's so easy, but very versatile. These candied pecans are crunchy, delicious, full of spices, and you can add them into salads, onto cakes, or have them for a cocktail hour like I will be doing. Let's get started. I love having candied nuts around the house. Our new neighbors are coming over, and I thought it'd be fun to have just a little spread to go with the drinks. If you're wondering like, what is this kitchen? This doesn't look like my new kitchen situation. The renovations are dragging on a bit. So we moved into a rental house until the new one is done. All right, first off, we're gonna add in one cup of lightly packed brown sugar into a pot, a generous half teaspoon of cinnamon. You can add some kick with cayenne pepper if you want to. Half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm adding in like a big pinch or a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Three tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna drizzle this in here. Give it a very light mix just to get it started. Okay, now it's ready to go onto the heat. And if you want, you can click up here for my roasted root vegetable salad with candied pecans. Amazing, and it's a beautiful play of savory and sweet. This goes onto heat and I'm bringing a generous cup of pecan halves because we'll be dumping those in pretty soon. Let's go. Okay, my mixture comes to a boil and you wanna wait for it to be like boiling, boiling. The bubbles are all over, not just on the edge. Try not to play with it too much. Just let it do its thing. All right, now it's time to dump those pecans in carefully. Just give them a little stir to make sure everything's all coated. Okay, and once you're sure everything's been coated, just cover it up and give it a minute. All right, so right now, these are all cooked. We're gonna spread them out onto our parchment paper, but this is the quick part. You have to be ready with the parchment paper and they are gonna dry or they're gonna set really quickly. So just go, go, go. And I like to leave most of them in the pot because there's enough residual heat there to kind of just keep it warmed up and liquidy. I've made the mistake of dumping them all out onto parchment before and you end up with this like solidified mass. But if you keep them in that pot, it really, 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 really helps. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can dump a bunch out, but that's some pro moves right there. If you're making these for salads or something else, or if you're gonna chop them up like for roasted Brussels sprouts, these are amazing with that little bacon, then you can not worry really at all. But if you're separating them out for a cake and you wanna have beautiful individual pieces, then you'll want to like have the beautiful individual pieces. And that means that before you add your pecans in, you wanna like sort out all of the actual halves. So if you made Italian buttercream or anything, it's heated to like 240 degrees, which is the softball stage. That means that the sugar never hardens up. It just stays kind of like sappy. This is the hard crack stage, which means that the sugar will fully turn into that like liquid glass. So it actually will harden up as soon as it cools down. If you didn't heat it up enough, you're gonna have kind of like tacky, um, tacky pecans, but this look, Already, perfect, look at that. This will be wonderful on my spice cake. You can click up here for the spice cake. I made that cake with an insane fall buttercream tree situation, but you just put beautiful pecan pieces all over it and it would be amazing too. Or chop the pecans up and make a pecan skirt on the bottom just like you would for like a confetti cake or something. Look at how pretty these guys are. They are so shiny and sparkly. They're gonna be perfect with cocktails. I hope the neighbors enjoy them. If you like this recipe, check out my banana bread. It is so delicious. Not so similar maybe, but amazing nonetheless. All right, time for a bite. Oh my gosh, crunchy, just the right amount of spice. Love the salt, sweet. What is not to like about these? If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.